He always said he wanted to buy me diamonds, he wanted to buy me a house, and he wanted to marry me. Well, I am so happy that he grew out of that <laughs> and that he found somebody to buy diamonds for, to buy a house, and to marry. Ivy, um, I always wanted a daughter, and it never quite worked out for me. And I always said to myself, God, why? You know, I have so much love to give. But God had a plan, and he knew that my son would meet somebody and I would gain a daughter that way. So I feel so blessed to have you, and I wish both of you a lifetime of love and happiness. Ivy, I never would have imagined that the woman I met online over a decade ago will become my best friend and be standing here in front of me today. We're sitting. <laughs> We both know that there is much more to be said than could ever be written today in this small vow book, but I'll keep it brief. Words have power, but most important are our actions, so I think it's best to let those actions speak for us. I often think about our story, how we first met, coming close to a, a decade ago, to where we are now, and here we are, in this moment, celebrating our wedding day. Together, we have climbed mountains, and I promise to be there for the many more in the years to come. I promise to be there for rich and poor, for sickness and in health, for better or worse. I aspire to be as thoughtful as you, and I promise to keep bringing you flowers for no particular reason. I love how you cherish me, and um, I've lost count of how many times I catch myself looking or thinking of you in adoration for simply existing. You're so giving, willing to listen, even when I think you aren't listening, you hear me. You're uplifting, resilient, and attentive, etc. Some people say marriage is about each person giving 100. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Ivy Lewis Golden and Brandon Golden. Brandon and Ivy, having witnessed your marriage vows in the eyes of all who are assembled here, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. to college to she would come home on the weekends anyways I didn't win I felt I lost so I let it go but do you know what Brandon did I guess she told him what a big deal it was that we had not met him in person he got in his car the next weekend and he drove down and that's that just spoke volumes 